I like Mexico. I like exploring it on my motorcycle. And this section down here I'd never been to. And I really wanted to go ride it. It's full of mountains, just calling to me. I think it's time to ride. So I grabbed my buddies, Bob, David, Garth, and myself. We loaded up the bikes and we headed to Mexico on an adventure. It's day two and I'm excited. We're going riding in the mountains and I love riding in the mountains on twisty roads. Our goal today was to leave Valles and make it down to Molongo, but we're gonna ride Highway 85. Look at the twist on that road. I've ridden that road before, but I've not ridden this one. And I'm not sure it doesn't have a name that I can find. I'm not sure if it's paid. Google Maps says it is. We're gonna go find out. But first, we gotta head south on Highway 85. There's this great spot that has all these colorful signs and plants and other stuff that they sell. I've been through here before, we, so we stopped and visited again. It was Garth's first time, David's first time. Just a fantastic um, little farmer's market, I guess, on the side of the road. Very cool. Kept going south, finally hit Tamazunchale, and then in Tamazunchale, we found the traffic. Uh, we're not with those motorcycles. They were just coming through town the same time we were. And boy, you see everything on motorcycles in Mexico. It's pretty awesome. Keep riding. This is on Highway 85. We're heading west on 85. And this section right here is a, a prime example of what Highway 85 looks like. It's just fantastic motorcycle riding. Stop for lunch at a little roadside cafe, restaurant place. Family affair, the mother, the daughter, and the other daughter making lunch for us. We had spaghetti, and it was quite good. Really, really enjoyable. Back through town, you'd run along the mountains for a ways, and you know, it'd be fun riding, then you hit a little community. And then we found the uh, Nissan Hardbody uh, Truck Club parading through town. So we followed these guys for a little ways. Um, I guess they're just having a meet. We zip around them every chance we got. Just don't run into a lot of Nissan hard bodies these days, but they're down in Mexico still. Very typical of the little towns that you see perched on the side of the road. Lots of activity, lots of people. Look at all the dual sport bikes there on the left. Those are very popular. I've seen a lot of those this year, much more this year than in previous years. Outside of town, you just run along the top of the mountains, just running twisty after twisty after twisty. Really uh, find out where your chicken strips are, you know, how far you're leaning over. Then we made the turn. So you're coming from the upper left to the lower right uh, down the road I've never been down before. We're on some road that I don't know the name of, and we're headed to Highway 105, and it's the most incredible road I've ever been on. Oh my gosh, it's paved, but it's awesome. And here we are, look at this great view. That was the most awesome road. From there, we ran 105 South down to the town of Milongo. Once we got into town, we found a, asked around, we found a, a hotel and the nice lady that um, runs it and owns it has really going all out on the decorations. I've never seen anything like this. It's just amazing the way that she has this place decorated. It's a very nice place, very clean, just incredible decorations. Really like this a lot. She had a covered garage that we parked in, so the bikes were secure. It's always very nice. Then she called her brother-in-law, who has a taxi, and so we parked the bikes, and then he took us in the taxi um, up to the best restaurant in uh, town, Los Balcones. We're at the restaurant El Balcon. This is our view. The balcony. Man, doesn't that look awesome? The views here were fabulous. We sat on the deck, as you can see here, taking pictures, having a few cold drinks, um, an enjoyable meal, just a really, really pleasant way to end a great motorcycling day. Here's one more picture of the view from the balcony. Isn't that awesome? I just love that place. Afterwards, it's back to the hotel for a nightcap. Tomorrow, more mountains.